Penny Tums, Penny Pies. You simply won't get Tanya. Peens. Not quite peas. Not quite beans. But something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to Woody's. Come on down to Woody's Bake Hall, where we have an ample variety. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Family. Romance. Pit. Visit Banzer. It's great good. So that's Banzer. Strange place, I know, but they need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today. So don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! I'm going to need another top-up of the letter. <laughs> this has happened again. Ooh. Good grief, lad. The front door is right there. We're ten stories up for crying out loud. I'm sorry, love. Mr. Mayor's in a meeting, and you won't be free for another few hours yet. But if you just sit there, I'll let you know when he's ready, all right, love. Good morning, little fella. Nice to have you around. Ooh. Oh, uh, ooh. Thank goodness you're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff. But more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication that I might slip free. Hmm? I need something greasy to slip me out of here. Down for Megan Crest pasty, but Meg's in talk. Somewhere. Oh, I guess I'll starve. Uh. 
I'm sorry, sir. My clothes this morning. Because this dolt has lost my keys. And now we've got to wait for that useless locksmith. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. What am I like? Colin, you are the most work shy fop I've ever had the misfortune to employ. Just the man I need. Ooh. The mayor's asked me to clean up this little rose garden. You can start by getting on that mower. Don't be shy, lad. Give that low mower the old grab and squeeze. Just like in the day. That is a fine stamen. My wife could learn a thing or two. can finally get home to my puzzles. I love puzzles. No chance of any of them round here, though. Tax all paid. Oh, 
Ooh, I do love my mo wife. You and your wife should come around sometime. We live underground, in soil and that. Anyway, I best be off. I've got some worms to suck up into my big mole mouth. That happens. Hey, oh dear. What the fuck? How about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint, eh? It's like a normal pint. But I take both my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few bells about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. You can't get downstairs in your own blinking public house. Well, Florence normally does it, but she's off today. Good grief. Wake up, kind of lager, then I do a big wee. Then I get out of bed and I go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm sure it's beer makes already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's pour you a pint and all on the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon.
Oh, hey! Ooh, one ooh, small ooh. with vigor! Beep! It's no use! Thanks for fetching that, Ronnie lad. I'd offer you a pasty, but we've now cooked yet. Help yourself to out front back, though. Darling! What on earth are you doing with that mop, boy? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. My mum's got me back on the mercury again. Give me strength. Found me. I'm the fridge stoat, and I'm awfully frigid. Ah, no, I just. I'm actually the town bow, if you catch my meaning. Do not ask me about 92. I've never seen a hole as big as that before. My wife could do anything or two. Yes, Marge. I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry, usually. Whoa. Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't 
tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger Bish down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money until... No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Sort yourself. Three for two, one for all, buckle my shoe. Oh, I don't know. I better call mother. Times either. It's nothing like walking this. a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah, I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah, I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a moo. Then a towel in the owl. 
Don't worry, little fella. I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. Ah, a fine mess. No bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. Thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning and I haven't got a drop out of it. Little Tom Anthony has nearly crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. <laughs> she needs a drink, lad. She's drier than Meg's fruitcake. I won't be winning any rosettes at this rate. Come on, get into the chai. Yeah, well, D. Oh, D. And a snail. Every time I put one in my mouth, I'm nearly sick. When you do me a favour, if you see any snails, give them a clip round the ear hole for me. Snails? No, thank you. Cucumbers? Yes, please. Goodness, you hear that? The stores are right, miss. Give us a hand setting it up, won't you? I do it myself, but my gout's playing up. Oh, a fine scene. Jasper, wow. I've no idea how that got there. I pull the other one. Passing off my spanner as a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Uh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. <laughs> I 
now embarrassing. Where are you going, you little way about? Have you heard about Big Rods? What's he done? No pies! No pies? I know, that's what I said, I know. On a Thursday morning, no less. On a Thursday morning? What are you going to do? Well, I don't know, but I need pie for tea. Well, of course you do. Why don't you ask your Beverly to make you one? Oh, I suppose we do with that jar of mustard that needs using. Well, there you go then. I'll be round at six. But you're not invited. No more dinner guests. Can't believe that big run, no pie. Not after last time. Should hang his head. Oh. Huh? Oh, wow, hold on. Me fish pop. What's all this about then? Dugs the name, rugs of the game. Turn it to wife, dad in Corfu, 1992. Don't ask me how. Very handsome, my dog. Such a good boy. Oh, oh, ah, oh! Who knows what to do then? You're here. You better get yourself in here now. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's it doing in there? It's urgent. the absolute state of this. I've been a big pie man all my life, but I'll be telling the wife to buy Tom's from now on. Ooh, ooh. I'm right hungry, me. Ooh. I'm desperate. <laughs> Oh, you've come just in the nick of time. I came in as usual, opened up shop, counted till, went to make my first buy of the day, and then I realised we've no meat. I can't make a pie without meat. It's the second most important ingredient. Oh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's Hams and pick us up some of his steaks. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Lawrence, get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warren. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you. Blue minute, you 
you really set him off now, haven't you? Well, what? It is big. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. Shouldn't be so soft about it. I've got a big tour. They don't see me tricking bananas. Get up. Hey, hey, hey. Where were you? Yeah, ooh. Yeah, get up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey. What a mess. I, I can't run through that, can I? Hey! Oh! Oh! Ah! Hey! Hey! Oh, my big bird! Five across, a thick rope of wire. Ah, a horseshoe. <laughs> Big pies, tiny pies. All I need is my burger. Uh. Oily babs, get them fresh, get them warm, get them moist. Buying carbs, higher in oil. No breakfast, and now no lunch. Oh, I guess I will just starve. Oof, ah, ah, ee. Be a shame for it all to go to waste. Do this. Nah. 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 Crocky, 
look at the size of this lad's marrow. Says here that tomatoes are a fruit. Like we didn't need that hose after all, lad. Right, so all we need yeah. now is fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah. Do I smell quail? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. It was for the tomato. Yeah. More for me. Dirty love, yeah. Herbert. Dirty love. Yeah. Eat. Oh. fishing here. That one's got a nice set of teeth. I hope we catch some at Bez. I'm starving. And I don't wait since I've had to chewing gum from under railings this morning. There's some nice ones in here today. Ah, the dingleroo, a most invasive and hostile flower. If even slightly agitated, it will burst and scatter its seed. Fortunately, I've caught this one before it could do any damage. Never touch a dingleweed with the open palm. They are dangerously virile. some wisdom for you. Never give an owl a toll. I can't seem to understand it. I pick up all the litter and I put it in a bag. And then, next thing I know, it's blooming everywhere. I'll never make puzzle night at this rate. Still, I do love litter. Oh, oh, oh. Diggers, so there are always spades knocking about the house. Picked one up one day, never put it back down. I'm boiling the kettle. Oh, 
hello there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend, she's got a new one every week. Alright, oh, it'll be nice to have a proper sit down tea. I'd rather have a sit down wee. Oh, be it. you found this banner. Shame about Mr. Bish though. I'll not be buying from him again. Aye, cracking work reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger. Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie, Kerry, down at Price Shaggers. Right, away you go, laddie. I can't get into this thing without my trusty screwdriver. What the devil are you still doing here, boy? I need that screwdriver quick sticks! Is that fresh, Dilbrog? Come on, I'll eat him raw. Uh, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Don't put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. I don't know. Monkey pup. Ooh. Hey. Uh. Oh, thank goodness you're here. They're everywhere. Somebody must have loaded them down from the roof. Can you fetch us that box of rat poison from top shelf? I've been on my best behaviour. I deserve a treat, not a mouse.
Kerry Louise Pickle, passing off my flathead as your produce, is it? Yes, but why on earth would I do that? I can't even turn my back for a minute in this town without one of you pinching my tools. I swear down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, a likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, anyway, back to the chip over this. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thank you for that, Kiddo. You have to never look back yet. Don't put your bin in my bin. Eh? Very far from those pickle sisters. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Aye, thanks for helping me get the screwdriver back, laddie. I wish I could say we were done, lad, I really do. But as I got back, I noticed my hammer's gone walkies. He must have been pinched by that no good yob, Frank. He's probably doing it at the brook, poaching fish as we speak. Hurry doing along to the brook before Frank does himself a mischief for my hammer. Quick time, lad, come on! If I don't get this fryer fixed soon, Marge is gonna have my pants down! Sticks, are ya? Watch your knees. <laughs> ah, hello again. Didn't expect to see you twice in one day.
Well, all right then. Oi, hey, hey, oi, oi. Oi. Gone here. I'm gone. Gone. Hold him still, Turpentine. My father's the cop. Ah, ah. Ooh, ow, ah. Eh, eh, oof, ah. Find a shiny penny. How's that for dirty work? Apparently, he's going to Sam's for his rum. Never. They are luscious, though. Well, ah, they are luscious. No disagreement there. But another man's meat and your pie. What are we, Sheffield? Well, well. I never thought I'd see the day where the big man would come to me for his meat. Come up here and have a do on this way. Is that very same evening?
One dark winter's night, my father brought me and my sisters a lamb each, and put a single sheep knife between us. Mine, the runt of the litter, jolted as I made the cut. It bleated and bled for a fortnight, and I wept. sure there's the number in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Horrible raw. All right, lad. The number is... One. Two. Another two. Six. Colin, is that you? Oh, hello, Mr. Ron. Yeah, Pasty Pete's off today. He's took Auntie Margaret down to Guernsey. So you've forgotten my pie mix, then? Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry, Mr. Ron. My memory's not been so good since my mum put me back on the business. Well, you better bring us three big mix boxes post haste. Yes, uh, I'll be right over. Oh, there you are, Colin! Here you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast as I could. Ooh, Lauren. What the chore? Oh, hello, Colin. I had no idea you were Ooh. in the pie industry. Oh, yes. I've always wanted to work in the club. You're looking quick for the wedding today, Colin. Thanks. It's had to be good oh, oh, dear. Um... Right. Mr. Warren? Yes, Lauren? Mr. Pennedy, please fill this up with your easy back floor. It doesn't matter now, Florence. Enough, Enough for everyone. everyone. Send down to Big Ron's, where we've made our biggest pie yet! Big Ron, how big is the pie? It's a pie so big, you could feed a family of five for 40 years, and you'd still have enough for supper. It's a pie so big, you can get lost in it. It's a pie so big, I have dreamt of it since I was a small boy. A pie so big, that I feel as if I have been finding my way. Now, Lou, I know you've told me before, but why can't you just, well, you know, make your pies a bit bigger? Tipped off that someone's selling counterfeit goods here at the market. But for the life of me, I can't work out which stall it is.
Herbert's going to have a right job on getting fertiliser with Roger in this state. No way to run a business. Hey! Oh! Oof! Oh, hey! Hey! He's gone bonkers! Oh. Rog, relax yourself! You're making a mess of the place! Get out! What the devil's gone no. into your man? I never no. even mentioned your massive head! Yeah, it isn't massive! Crying out loud, Rog, there's no shame in it! Oh. Yeah. He's gone as mad as a magpie yeah. on a Monday morning! Oh. Grab a Sorry, Mr. Peelings. We did everything we could. <laughs> Rosie the red, violets are blue, Roger's got a big head and he's a massive villain. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Peelings, that pool isn't going to pay itself. Sorry, mister. It's company policy. Peas, not by peas, not by peas, but something special. Never mind then, love. <laughs> I like it. I can't keep pretending anymore, Roger. It's just too big. <laughs> Ooh. It's just too big. Too big. That will fit. No. Extra, extra large. Too big. This is a family restaurant. Too big. Too big. It's Not just too, too big. 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 Right then, Rog. I'll see you next week. Six down starts with a D. Liquid refreshments. Sausage meal, blooming egg. It's the meat in the bun of the burger that I enjoy. Bring me death! Oh well, the bees are on the window so. Excuse me, young man, get off my soiled clothes! I'm trying to sleep over here in my old fashioned nightcap.
Beanton, hear my plea. I summon my six girls back to me. Uh... That didn't work. Go find them. Bring me my birds. I've never liked to look a clock in the face. It's always the criminals doing crap. Make me ill at ease. Oi. Dear, oh dear, young lad. Looks like we just missed him by a truncheon's breath. Huh. Whoa! Huh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> work, cabin boy. You retrieve my finest lieutenants. There's a bright future ahead of you on this ship. Attention! Hang on a minute. These coasters are one way. Very strange. Take that. Kicking these.
thoughts at all about them? Well, it follows the interpersonal dramas of the street's inhabitants. All of their affairs and betrayals and whatnot. It's very compelling. Not like this shit. Smoking's best when you start it young. I used to go to Bishes, but my doctor says the brine will get me go. Uh, wait! Florence, Mum Wang, she said you're a bitch. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. She said you're a big fat bitch. Terry, jib over! No, you're a proper bitch, you Florence. Everyone says so. Even Colin. No, we don't. Don't talk about Colin or I'll smack you. Hello again. I've got some more sausages and I'm going to poke them through the hole. Here we go. Oh! That's alright. Here's the. Oh! One more. Here. Ah, I've dropped that one too. I'm afraid I've run out of sausages now. I'll go to the shop and buy some more. Folding on the way down. <coughs> Go! Oh, you, you little, you little dusty gentleman, you. Go on, off with. Hey, oi, hey. Hey, hey, uh, hey. Come 
on, lad, jump on. I think I might need a hand finishing her off. Steady as you go. My beautiful baby boy. And bigger than I thought. Daddy? Daddy? Cream of the crop. <laughs> Bobby, you old chew stick. You nearly scared me soft. What can I do you for? Sorry to bother you, Herbert. But there's been reports of crime in the area. Shit! That's right. Have you seen this criminal at all? Hang on a minute. That's no criminal. That's the honest businessman who sold me this brand new watering can. I'm afraid that's no businessman. That's bootleg, Bill. And that's no watering can. That's a watering can't. Bugger me. I paid ten bob sterling for that. It happens to the best of us, Herbert. Just last week, he swindled my wife with a wet dream catcher. So keep your eyes peeled, your head on a swivel, and a Johnny on your button. And I'll need to take this down to the station. Good grief, this town is going to the dock. You better keep an eye out, lad. Call the fire department, tell them old Charlie's got himself stuck in the well again. They'll know what it means. Shut up and have your spoon. Good idea, you can go in and all. Did you see that bird earlier? That's our bird, Jackie. Ah, oh, Bubba Boss did that from Sparkling. He couldn't get us all custom before. He has to be done with the pencil case. And now he's got that guy in there. Oh, catch of the day! You've been up to some mischief with us, I'll bet. What are you on about, Jasper? I don't know. Wait till your Ma hears about this. I'm taking this back to my toolbox, and I'll see you at the chapel, lad. Jasper, you puppy doing me nothing. Ah! B 
baby, yeah. <laughs> And he said, £2.50 for parking. And I said, good God, I'm a duck. I wish I'd never asked. Here's one to live by. Never but a shrew. In a shoe. Hmm. Nearly finished. Why don't you see the reason of the rand? I can't believe the cheek of that wee boy. I dread to think the trouble he was up to with this whole thing. Anyway, I think I've almost cracked her open. Take a look inside, won't you? See if you can't flush all this muck out. That's your pipes all cleaned out, and I fixed the fryer. <laughs> oh, thanks, lovey. I hope it wasn't too much bother. I'll put you some chippies on. I need bother at all. But where does all that oil drain out to, anyway? Oh, I've got no clue, love. Open the business. Morning. Florence, doctor called about your psoriasis. He said it's terminal. I don't have psoriasis, Kerry. You just colour me in with a felt tip pen when I'm sleeping. Oh dear, poor lad's in a right state. 
I'd see what's wrong, but Bobby says I've got to stay away from windows now. Oof, oof, oof. Goodness, you're here, lad. Ah, oh, Bessie's sick as a fig. Chippies usually perk her up, though. Oh, you couldn't go up to Marge's and get us some, could you? She's neither use nor ornament till she's had her chippies. Poor cow.
Ooh. Um, Bobby Roger, he said you're under arrest for being a bitch. Well, Jerry, if being a bitch was your job, you'd get employee of the year. Shut up, Floyd. The mall off. <laughs> oh, the big one needed both hands. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Job. I'll do. Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Bingy. Very nice to meet you both. Now then, Jack, how about a lager beer? Ah, go on then. Hey, I like him already. Oh, wow, Mrs. Bingy. This is delicious. I've never had pie and swede before. Thank you, Jackalus. Well, what do you normally have with your pie at home, lad? Well, usually the pie is big enough on its own. Big enough? Uh, oh, uh, look, uh, please, don't make a fuss. Big enough? No, love, I won't have it. Not under my roof. Not on my dinner table. Love, please. I really didn't mean anything by it. You shut your mouth! Oh, damn! And you can shut it and all. No daughter of mine is going with a big pie, man. Good morning! Thank goodness you're here! It's my breakfast time already, and I need some shopping, but I'm bed bound, and I don't like other hands touching my shopping. Might you be able to assist? I'm in terrible need of a breakfast. Follow my fingers. E O A A O O T O O O A T A E O O O E O O T A A Asbestos never gave anybody third degree burns. Ooh, ooh, uh. I don't know why I even bother. I prefer them cold personally. But it takes you too. For the day, but we've had to come down and sort this out. Uh, Jasper should have left that fire rock. Are you a 
again! When am I going to see the back of you, you wee melon heed? Uh, actually, I've got just the job for you. Why don't you head down to Price Shaggers and pick us up some spirit level bubbles? <laughs> hey, boys! <laughs> <laughs> How does that sound? Right, away you go! I've got it tough, me. Yeah? Huh? We both do. We're tatties. Oh, aye. Yep. Forty to a bed. Dirt for breakfast. Dirt for dinner. And we also sleep in sacks. Exactly. And for what? Best case scenario, we're peeled, chopped up, and drowned in oil. Aye, we've got it tough, us. Aye, we've got it tough. But at least we're all right now. Much better, Bessie. And just in time, too. We better be setting off. Though we don't want to miss our special appointment. Oh, I hope we find the place okay. Apparently, it's opposite our little field. The house with the blue door. Well, here it is. Oh, I'm too nervous to knock. You do it, Bessie. No. You're nervous, too? Oh, dear, oh, dear. We'll be here all day. Come here often. This is awfully nice. I got it from a car boot sale. So I went and I was. I said that's an awfully strange car boot. And he said, well, it's a hot tub. Ugh. Find the place okay then. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Can you drink this?
Sleep it off down the station. brush I'm about to piece. What are you wearing? Green dungarees and a flat cap? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Heavens to beetroot. I need to get that fixed. For worms, and it's a bag of soil. I said, in arrears? Well, I could try, but it's your wife. Quack, quack. Thank you. 
level bubbles, is it? Well, you're in luck. We just got a fresh batch in this morning. They're in the back here, yeah, look. You'll need this. <laughs> Good luck. says, it's an oven glove. Where else am I supposed to put it? In the oven. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. That real felt. How much? Ten bob. Very reasonable. What do you reckon, love? We've still got that cabbage money. Is that Bill like Bill? Look, everyone. This young man's caught bootleg Bill. It's more of a Cumberland cross, really. Now, now, settle down, settle down. Thanks to this young man's incredible police work, I can safely declare bootlegging in this town has been knocked on the head. Still at large.
Oh, what's this? Gummy's breakfast blend. And only 40 years out of date. We'll take the lot. Hello, shopkeep. Hello. Oh dear, this one's homogenized. All together, that's ten bob. I think you've had enough, you great little piglet. Oh, okay, come up, yep. isn't even plugged in. Oh dear. Oh, this is the very last thing I wanted to happen. A whole pack of snails in the garden. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, there's another one going down the well. Oh dear. Hang on, where's your poor wife? You know what? Never mind. A little off piece here. But another thing worms really love, a rooster's egg. It's not an easy snack, but by God is a protein worth it. Snow, cocktail sausage, down the snorkel. No, 
Now then, Rog, what's up with you? It's my head, man. It's just too big. Too big? You know me. I don't reckon out can be too big. Does they know? People used to rip me for my head and all. Really? Aye. In school, they used to call me Panhead. And the kids would call me Fathead. But look at me now. I've made big my business. And I've done all right. And that's done all right and all. Your own shop. Best throwing arm in town. And your Florence is doing well too. Three jobs. And she's nearly got a B-Tech. Uh, that's true. She's off to uni next year. Oh, there you go. Come on, let's get down pub and have a yard. The boys would love to see you. Taking goose green. Attention. It is fucking massive. Doctor says me kicking days are over. Bobby knocking, is it? Well, how about I give you two of these? Florence, Florence, no, seriously, that was Mum. Dad's been in an accident. Oh my God! Yeah, he's in hospital, unlike your boy. What happened? He was on his motorbike, going proper fast. And then, he remembered he had you, and he's your proper bitch. You're a proper bitch, you, Kerry! Dinner's ready! Love? Hey, love. Look who's come for tea. Hello, lovey. Just in time for soup. All homemade. But oh no. It looks as if our cuckoo clock is broken. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. It's really broke. Please won't you help us fix our clock? 
Forget that clock and batch this mall. We need to knock him down the hall. Your gun's fine. Come here instead and help me slice my crusty bread. Spin my grinder round and round. Don't stop until my meat is ground. I think it's still a little broke. Help us fix our ticky tuck. Where have you been, lad? Can't you see? There's 40 moles and one of me. Jerry, cut a proper slice. Move the handle left and right. Spinning quickly is the key to make the mince for shepherd's tea. Before we all sit down to eat, we'll have to bash on every beat. Now then, lad, my garden's full of dirty moles you need to call. Now then, shall we do it right? Left and right is my advice. Turn the crank and make it snappy. We need this beef to make the passes. That leaky ground come help with this. I need to chop up all my fish. Help me please, I'm in distress. I just can't see with all this mess. Forget that truck, we need you more. There's too much soup spilled on the floor. That's it, young man, you mocked enough. Now help me chop me tatties up. Come on, lad, you must too slow. Give that card another go. I can scarcely drive my truck if I can't see from all this muck. A woman's work is never done. Clean up, please, and I don't want. Where have you been, you silly sod? Chopping chippies is your job. How am I supposed to sell a fish that's still alive and well? Look at this, an awful mess. My wife has left me, I'm depressed. Sorry, sir, you've got your mop. You always spend that damaged stock. Oh, there you are, you little dip. Chippy, chubby, chubby, chip. Help me keep the crime at bay. My dog needs stroking every day. Really, Dane, make it quick. Spin us round and make us sick. Hurry up and make it tick. Give that filthy mole the stick. Slice the bread and make it thin. Careful now, my arm is in. That's it, young and bash that bloke. Won't you give my dog a stroke? Spin it, let's see what I've got. Push until we both fall off. Do you not hear what we both said? Bash that mole until it's dead. Cut straight through that lovely crust. I don't feel super, but needs must. A bash a day keeps felons down. I've got the cutest dog in town. I hope I catch a fish or two. What's the matter, feeling blue? Please don't stop me, love that clock. Give that bastard mole a knock. My loaf needs slicing, can't you tell? My arm is in this blooming thing. Slash me up, it's right in two. Steady on, this bed's brand new. Help us with the sticky floor. I think they need a little more. Hang on, why is it me itself? Poor oh, Reggie's quite unwell. Now we've hit the overload. Send us flying down the road. Cut me head off, I'm a fish. Who taught you to drive all this? Looks like money's on the shores. You need to chop some more, of course. Easy now, let's keep it civil. Look at little Reggie dribble. Now I'll come by tea tonight. Send us flying like a kite. Don't be shy, I'll like it, bluff. 
I just can't run well off the cuff. Poor old Ronnie's fish is catch. We'll put them in the fryer next. How the chuff did you get there? My poor dog's beyond repair. Oh, Bez is like my only friend. Send us spinning round the bend. Thinks our clock is really broke. What the ball? He's in our hole. Brush his head, he's nearly dead. Put the cord until he's dead. Brush that box and squash these two. Eat it up, it's good for you. Bang the nail now, please don't fuss. It's better if you stay with us. Time to ticky, ticky tug. Get him, match him, make him stop. You have the right to get knocked out. Chop that fish, your blood comes out. I miss my dad, I miss my mum. In your tummy, yum yum yum. I love the smashy bangy sound. Don't be coy now, stick around. Fix the clock, fix the clock. Pop the ball, pop the ball. Smash the head. Bash the head! Cut the cut! Cut the cut! Bash the box! Bash the box! Eat it up! Eat it up! Bang the nail! Bang the nail! Shh! 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 Put the fish in the hole! Eat the sea! Bash the ball! Bash the tattle! Bash the box! Mutterinos! Fix the clocks! to bob in. Ah, oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm just about to tuck into this delicious Amsani and I've lost the mayoral mustard. Thank you. 